Hello, my name's Steve Woody and this is onlinemastery.co.uk and in this short video, I'm going to show you how using the X theme from ThemeCo, you can actually create a custom checkout page that looks a lot better than the standard one and gives you a lot higher conversions when people actually go to check out. And so this is what it looks like. As you can see, we're on our checkout page on the website. Uh, it asks us to enter in our order details and then we have our cart which shows up and shows us the items that are in our cart. And as we scroll down, we then have our billing details and then we have our order. And so this is quite a simple process. If I was just to take something out of the cart, as you can see, nice big buttons, nice, easy to see everything. And so it gives us the ability here to be able to uh, update and change our details. Um, and everything's updated in real time and then we've got our checkout. So it just makes everything nice and easy. So the way for this to happen is a few parts. I'm gonna take you through this step by step. The first part is obviously we need our template. So the template is made up very simply, uh, a few rows here. We've got a custom headline, a gap, two text boxes. In the first one we have our WooCommerce cart and then we have our WooCommerce checkout. And what I'm gonna do, I'm going to add in the template. I'll upload this for you so you have this, um, so you can upload it straight into your site if you're using X. The next thing we need to look at is the custom CSS. Now there's quite a lot of custom CSS here to make this look and feel the way it does. And again, I'm going to add that into a document, a zip document that you'll be able to get. Uh, you'll be able to download all of this uh, and upload it into your website. So those are the first two things. You need a template file and you need to upload your CSS. The next thing that you're going to have to do is through FTP, you're gonna to need to go into your WP content folder then you're gonna to need to go into themes. You should have X hyphen child. You should be using the child theme. Within there, you need to create a folder called WooCommerce. And within there, you need to create a folder called Checkout. So WP content, themes, X child, WooCommerce, Checkout. And then within here, you need a form hyphen checkout.php so you can add that new file and I'm going to add this as well so you can just copy it across. What this is basically doing is it's just using some of the uh, div classes, it's creating a woo column left and a woo column right and what that's doing is it's a three fifths and a two fifth column which is going to allow for this here where the billing detail is on the three fifths and two fifths and so that's going to stack there quite nicely. Now, once you've done that and you've uploaded your template, your style, and also your FTP file, that's the only one you need to upload. The final step, uh, which you don't have to do, but I think it makes it finishes it off quite nicely, is for the ability here to have all of the um, fields, and I'll just go through and you can see these, as placeholders. And to do that, we're gonna use a plugin, and the plugin I've put the link in here is called WooCommerce Checkout Field Editor Pro. Now there's a free version and a pro version. I used the pro version, it was $39. Uh, it's up to you whether you want the free version or not. But what I've done is by using this and going into WooCommerce Checkout form, once it's installed, you can go into any of the fields in the billing address. Uh, I've taken out the shipping fields, the additional fields, I've removed all of those. If I come across to Edit, what I can then do is take the label name, add it as a placeholder, so it's as a placeholder, and I've added the label class hidden. Now by adding the label class as hidden, what that allows me to do is in the CSS I've given you, we're gonna have a, a bit of CSS that says um, dot hidden uh, display equals none. And so anything that's shown up as hidden shows as not displaying, and that means that when we come back here, all of the billing details are nice and clean gives us that ability. And that's how you get a nice, simple looking checkout. You can also uh, look to add extra things in here if you want, like testimonials. Um, you can go into the checkout page and add those before they check out. We can get some testimonial videos in there, um, some other things as well. But overall, that is what you're going to use to be able to get the uh, checkout experience and to change it and to make it nice and simple. I hope that helps, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below. Uh, feel free to subscribe, or if you look in the description, click on the link where you'll be able to go and download all of this, uh, the templates and all of the information I provided there for you. Thanks very much, have a great day.